about who we are with God. Mm -hmm. We've learned so much from the Holy Spirit about who we are in God. Mm -hmm. We've learned so much from the Holy Spirit about what we can do and what we can't do because of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we have and what we don't have because of God. Mm -hmm. We've learned over these past few weeks from Pastor to the better and, and Pastor Stanley and Deacon Bennett and our Sunday school teachers, we've learned so much from the word of God and the things that we learned should have empowered us to stay on this battlefield for the Lord. Yeah. We've learned that we are made over people. We've learned that he, he put us as lumps of clay on a potter's wheel and saw some Mars in us, but then he took that same hand and used that same marred up lump and made us over again yeah. into another vessel worthy to be used in his service. He made us over by infusing us with the water that flows from the throne room of heaven and the river of life and the blood of Christ Jesus that was shed for remission of our sins. He infused that into us and then he killed us, burned us with the spirit of the fire of the Holy Spirit to empower us and refine us and strengthen us and fortify us so that we became these made over empowered people. He made us over and he saved us by Jesus Christ and his pastor stated he was, Jesus was that paratrooper that left heaven and came down to earth and ended up on Calvary so he can save us. And then that Holy Spirit that Pastor Trebetta talk, talked about us on that time of Pentecost as it rested upon the people who believed that empowered us. Mm -hmm. Making us that made over empowered people to go forth in the world and do something. He didn't just empower us for nothing. He gave us some stuff to do. Well, and we sing that song that we are on the battlefield for the Lord, and we are. That's why he had to make us over again into a vessel worthy to be used in his service, and that's why he had to empower us with the Holy Spirit so that we could go out on the battlefield, which is this mean, cruel world, and live a life that's pleasing to him. Mm -hmm. And while we're on the battlefield, we can't get weary. Why can't we get weary? Here's our scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 20, verses 1 through 4. Deuteronomy, Old Testament. One of the books of the law of Moses. That God spoke to Moses and had it write it down. So the people won't forget. Deuteronomy, the book of remembering. All right, all right. That's what Deuteronomy is, the book of remembrance. God's telling his people, don't forget this as you go forward on the battlefield. So Deuteronomy chapter 20, verses 1 through 4. And it says this, and I have the New King James translation that I'm reading from. When you go out to battle against your enemies, you see horses and chariots and people with numer more numerous than you. Don't be afraid of them, for the Lord your God is with you who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Meaning he brought you up out of oppression, depression. So it shall be when you are on the verge of battle that the priest shall approach and speak to the people and he shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, Today you are on the verge of battle with your enemies. Do not let your heart faint. Do not be afraid. And do not tremble or be terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is here, is for the Lord your God is he who mm -hmm. goes with you mm -hmm. to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Oh. He fights for you against your enemies to save. Don't be afraid to get on the battlefield. And then let's go over to 1 Samuel 
17 and 47. Now you already heard that God is going with you and don't be afraid and don't get faint of heart and don't get scared. No matter how many foes are before you, no matter how many enemies are encamping around you, don't get scared because God is with you. Well, and then 1 Samuel 17 and 47, it says that all this assembly, meaning all those enemies, shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give it into your hands. Mm -hmm. oh. The battle is the Lord, mm -hmm. not you. Mm -hmm. The battle is the Lord's and not yours. Mm -hmm. That should encourage you to step out on the battlefield. Oh, yeah, and so we sang that song. When we sing that song and using pastor's words with Everest, Everest, Everest. I can't even say the word that he uses. But we sing that song with enthusiasm and vigor. Yes. Mm -hmm. We sing that song with some confidence. Yes. And we're getting on this battlefield. God is fighting the battle for you. Don't worry about rank. Because God is commander in chief. Oh, yeah. So now we're on this battlefield. We we sing this song, and we promised him that we're going to stay on this battlefield and serve him until we die. When we all got converted and started actually living our life for Christ, did we not promise that? Yeah. We might have went up to the front of the church and we was little and sat in the chair and got dunked in the water because that was what they told you to do. Mm -hmm. But until you really started living. Yes. For Christ, you weren't saved. Mm -hmm. That's right. You went through the ritual. You went through yes. the motion. Yes. All right. But until you fully accepted him, yes. submitted yes. yourself to him and say, Lord God, you are my Savior. Well, you are my Lord. When you say you're my Lord, that means I'm submitting all that I am. Mm -hmm. I'm submitting my will to your will. Mm -hmm. Once you did that and said, now I'm going to live for you. Yeah. I'm going to fight on that battlefield till the day I die. How many of you have said that to the Lord? Oh, to the so day I die, Lord, I'm Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to serve you no matter what. Yeah. We say it. He's empowered us to do it. So here we are. We've been empowered by the Holy Spirit to engage in warfare. Mm -hmm. We are on a mission that is possible. Well, you remember that message about mission impossible? It's a possible mission. Because mm -hmm. if it wasn't, he wouldn't have told us to do it. Mm -hmm. And the mission that he gave us is found in Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Right. It's not just a commission, it's a mission. Yeah. That means it's something for you to go do. Mm -hmm. You and I, when I say you, I ain't leaving me out. Mm -hmm. I'm first in line. Matthew 28, 19 and 20 says, Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Mm -hmm. Then it says, Amen. Amen means that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's our mission. And then we also have to follow the final command of the Lord, who's our commander in chief. The final command, I heard it mentioned in Sunday school this morning, comes from John 13, 34 and 35. To love ye one another. Yes. John 13, 34 and 35 says this: a new commandment I give you. That you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Well, By this, all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Amen. That's part of what we have to do on the battlefield. Amen. Go out and make up disciples, teaching them to observe 
all that he said, and then love. If we couldn't do that, he would not have asked him. Mm -hmm. yeah. We need to stop asking God, why me, God? Why not you? If I'm asking you, that means I'm going to empower you and equip you to do what it is I'm asking you. God doesn't set us up for failure. He does not. The world might set you up for failure, but God will not. So anything that he's asked you to do, you're capable of doing it. So we're on the battlefield. We have a mission to make other disciples, teaching them to observe all the things that Christ has said and to love on them. So now we're on the battlefield. And there's two things we need to know as we enter into the battlefield. There's two fronts. Anybody watch war movies, you know there's always a front line and this line, and I always hear pastor say something about a dewy line, and this the other day he said something about a line to me. I didn't know what he was talking about. I didn't grow up in a military household, so I don't know all those terms. But there's always some fronts mm -hmm. in battle. Right. Always some scrimmages mm -hmm. is what I'm calling them, scrimmages, because the battle is the Lord's. Mm -hmm. We just in little scrimmages here and there. But there's two fronts. There's a physical front line, or a physical front, and a spiritual front. Mm -hmm. Come on. Now stay with me. All right. Mm -hmm. Open up your ears to hear your heart to receive the word of God. Mm -hmm. The physical front has an arsenal of weapons. Mm -hmm. The weapons on our physical front are the observable weapons, the things people see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our arsenal of physical weapons include our daily actions, mm -hmm. our lifestyle, and our observable behavior, the things that people see us do as Christians. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on. Now that's a weapon on the battlefield because it can either help you or help the enemy, depending on how you display and use your physical weapon. <laughs> on the physical front, our weapons should show forth that many over newly created character that serves the vessel that God has given us. We learn that we are, we have a treasure in our earthen vessels. We're earthen vessels. We there's a treasure within and our physical weapon is within our vessel. Mm -hmm. That greater than he that's in me, mm -hmm. the he that's in the world, that's your physical weapon. Because that thing that's in you, that one that's in you, mm -hmm. he that is in you, the Christ, and the spirit of God that is in you mm -hmm. is what's going to show forth. Well, yeah. come on, man. Because that vessel, our vessels carry that treasure within us. Mm -hmm. And so we fight on the battlefield with our physical weapons and how we use them is what we pour out of these vessels of ours. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? Amen. Our physical weapons is the treasure that's in us mm -hmm. and what we pour out in our day-to-day -day living. Mm -hmm. And the weapons that we pour out is the love we show for others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The weapon that we pour out is the joy that we have mm -hmm. that comes from deep down within. Mm -hmm. When everything else around you is going haywire mm -hmm. and should put you in despair, but you have this joy. Yes. Yeah. And people mm -hmm. wonder, how can you be so happy? Mm -hmm. Why are you always having a good day? Because mm -hmm. you should have a joy within yes. that supersedes anything that is without. Yes. Because greater is he that's in you mm -hmm. than he that's out in the world. Yes, yes. So yes. what we're pouring out is the patience that we have towards mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. yes. We're pouring out the kindness mm -hmm. that we show towards others. Mm -hmm. We're pouring out the goodness that we impart mm -hmm. towards others. Mm -hmm. If you're listening, you're catching on that our physical weapon it ain't about us. Mm -hmm. It's about others. others. The faithfulness we display in the midst of uncertainty is easy to be faithful when you know exactly what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. 
It's easy mm -hmm. to be thankful when you can when you say God met all my needs, but you just got paid. Mm -hmm. And you got paid enough to meet your needs. Yeah. It's when you say God has met all my needs and your paycheck don't match what you need to put out. Yeah. Right. But right. somehow, uh -huh. through the grace of God, mm -hmm. it all lines up and nothing is delinquent. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 And your credit score don't change. Uh -huh. And you can keep on going. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you look at it and say, oh, pay in full. Oh, uh, man. Man. Yeah. Yeah. It's the gentleness we show towards others. Yeah. Thank you. When we stop and take the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When it's 102 degrees outside mm -hmm. and you see a homeless person standing there. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you stop and ask, are you okay? Yeah. Do you need some water? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there anything I can do for you? Yeah. What we pour out is the gentleness we show towards mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What we pour out on the battlefield is the self-control we display when everything and everybody else around mm -hmm. us is out of control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's your physical mm -hmm. weapon. Mm -hmm. These are the weapons we use to fight against the enemies of God. Mm -hmm. These are the weapons that empower us to go out making other disciples by teaching them through our actions. <coughs> People are always watching us Christians. <coughs> what is the Christian going to do now? Mm -hmm. Well, And what you do now can teach somebody about Christ. That's it. Mm -hmm. The most important of these weapons, though, is love. Mm -hmm. Why? Because without love, you can't use the other ones, mm -hmm. the other weapons in the arsenal effectively. Right, right. Without love, you won't have no joy. Because mm -hmm. every little thing will get you down and mm -hmm. crush you. That's right. yes. come on. Without love, and it's not just the love we come up with, it's mm -hmm. the love God gives. Mm -hmm. That unconditional agape love. Yeah. No matter what, he loves us. Yes. And he Thank pours you. that love into mm -hmm. us. That's yeah. the love of the fruit of the spirit, that unconditional love. Mm -hmm. yeah. That no matter what you do, I'm going to love you anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what we have to get to. That no matter what people do, we're going to love them anyway. Mm -hmm. Will you like it all? Mm -hmm. But it ain't about life, it's about love. Because mm -hmm. today, you could buy barbecue potato chips. But depending on how they make you feel after you eat them tomorrow, you may not like them. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. The most important is love. Yes. Well. Because without love, like I said, you can't use the other weapons effectively. So on that physical front, we have to be ever mindful of the fruit of the spirit that's in your earth and vessel and my earth and vessel and how we're pouring it out in this fight against the enemies of God. Because that's who you're fighting against. Fight against Christians, stop fighting against one another. Oh, man. We are each other's enemies. Mm -hmm. Our enemies are the enemies of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our enemies are the Antichrist. Yes. Meaning anybody who denies Christ mm -hmm. and denies what he taught and denies what he said, yeah. and denies the word of God, that's the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Stop labeling people the Antichrist. You just make sure that the Christ in you yes. is coming out. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. So the next weapon that we have on the battlefield that we're going to stay on till we die Is our spiritual front, or the next front we have is the spiritual front. And then there are some scriptures that go along with that. Now listen carefully here. Second Corinthians 10, 1 through 5 says this. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. You might be saying that's just contradicting what you just said. No, it's not. 
because our physical warfare weapons is the fruit of the spirit that we pour out. Mm -hmm. That's not flesh, that's spirit. Mm -hmm. In an earthen vessel, mm -hmm. carrying about a treasure. Because that's what he told us to do. So for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Mm -hmm. It's not knives, it's not guns, it's not sticks, it's not stone. Mm -hmm. But mighty in God. Yeah. Yeah. Mighty in God. Right. The spirit is mighty in God. Yeah. It's, what does he say? It's not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. Mighty in God. For pulling down strongholds, for casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into, cap into captivity to the obedience of Christ. That's why he says, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess. Whether you do it now or do it later, everybody's going to have to acknowledge that you spoke. <laughs> Whether they do it now or do it at the time of judgment, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. Mm -hmm. Because our spiritual front is our greatest source of strength. Why do you say that? Because in it, there's only two weapons that give us the power we need mm -hmm. to stay and withstand the war. The battle. Because even though the battle is the Lord, you on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Didn't we just say that? Mm -hmm. You're in the scrimmage. You're in this little fight over here. Mm -hmm. You're in this little fight over there. Prayer mm -hmm. is a weapon mm -hmm. in your spiritual arsenal. Mm -hmm. According to Paul in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17, it says we ought to pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. Prayer. If prayer wasn't important to our spiritual warfare, he would tell us to do it without ceasing. Mm -hmm. What do you mean without ceasing? Mm -hmm. A co-worker had to remind me the other day at work, she said, I said, you know, we just got to pray. She said, and more often. Mm -hmm. I said, you're right. Mm -hmm. Don't just pray once about it, pray often. Because mm -hmm. it says pray without ceasing. Without ceasing. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. Yes. Amen. Colossians 12, Paul tells us about Epaphras who labors fervently in prayer. Mm -hmm. That's what he says. He says, let me tell you about the pastors. He labors fervently mm -hmm. in prayer, all of us. Yes. Pray for each other. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. Yes. Don't just pray for yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pray yeah. for one another. Yes. Yeah. Pray that the spirit of God is empowering your fellow believers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes. that they don't come back when you see them next week all beat up and battle group. Mm -hmm. yeah. Feeling like they ain't got nobody to cover their back because Mm -hmm. We forgot to uplift them in prayer. Right. You yeah. ain't got to be well enough to uplift them. <laughs> That's how the Spirit of God works. He's omnipresent. Yeah. So you can be at home praying for somebody somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And that Spirit empowered them. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. guess what? We're all linked to that same spiritual source. Because we're all part of the bond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about that? You're on the vine. You're hanging there, being nourished by the vine dresser. We're hanging on the vine with that branch. Being nourished by the same source. So if it's a great hanging over here, being nourished, mm -hmm. one hanging down here, being nourished. So pray for the ones down here. Mm -hmm. And they'll pray for the ones up here. Yeah. According to James, James 5 and 16, they called James Camel Knee. They called him Camel Knees because he was always praying. Mm -hmm. And his knees, they got all callous mm -hmm. and bruised up from always being in prayer. Mm -hmm. James said and reminds us that the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous avail much. Mm -hmm. You might be saying, what if somebody ain't righteous? Who are you to judge who's righteous and who's not? Yeah. Yeah. God knows the intent of the heart. Mm -hmm. So if your intent is to uplift and fortify and build up and empower your fellow believer, 
then let that be your prayer. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what to say, just say, God, have mercy. Mm -hmm. yeah. God, empower me. Yeah. God, grant me yes. with this, your strength mm -hmm. to get through. Because I want to see joy in my brother and sister's eyes. I want to see encouragement mm -hmm. in my brother yes. and sister's yes. eyes. I want to see strength in yes. their walk. I want to see mm -hmm. confidence in their confidence. Yeah. Yeah. That you are with them. They know that they know that they know that you will never leave them. No, you ever forsake them. You're not going to just leave them out there on the battlefield alone. And then, most importantly, don't forget how to pray, how the Lord taught us to pray. From Matthew 6, 10 and 13, All right. that the will of the Father be done. And to pray for those who despitefully use you. That's in chapter 5. What do you mean, pray for my enemy? Pray for your enemy. Because mm -hmm. right. right. the ultimate goal is that we all be saved. God doesn't want any to perish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even your enemy. Mm -hmm. right. And I believe that's why he showed David and told David, I'm going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy so the enemies can see yes. that there mm -hmm. is a God. Yes. Uh -huh. Just like David yes. told the Philistines, when I get through, y'all going to know it's a God. Amen. As you read through your Bible, notate each time where the enemy had to finally confess God is God. This God of the Israelites, this God of the Hebrews, He is God. Prayer is a weapon in your spiritual arsenal. The second powerful weapon of our spiritual warfare is the word of God. Mm -hmm. The commander in, in chief himself tells us that his word is sharper than a two-edged sword. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Hebrews 4 and 12, it says his word, the word of God is quick and powerful. Mm -hmm. Quick and powerful. Yeah. You ever heard that saying back in the hill, the quickness? Quick and powerful. Mm -hmm. That means you took care of it right, right quick. The word of God is quick and powerful and is sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even into the dividing of the soul and the spirit. Wow. And the joints and the marble. Meaning cut you quick, cut you deep. Yeah. And it's discerning our thoughts and the intents of our heart. Yeah. Maybe that's where that came from. I'm going to cut you quick and cut you deep. <laughs> God said it first. Amen. The word is what keeps us in order. Yeah. It keeps us mindful mm -hmm. of the orders of the commandment. That's why David said, let me hide the word in my heart so I don't sin against you, God. Yes. While I'm on that battlefield, I want to make sure I'm following orders. But if I got your word mm -hmm. in my arsenal, you got to remember the Holy Spirit's going to bring it to my remembrance. Yes. Hey, yes. I'm supposed to do this and not that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when I'm pouring out of my vessel, it's supposed to be love and not hate. Mm -hmm. When I'm pouring out of my vessel, it's supposed to be forgiveness and not judgment. Mm -hmm. The word. And then when the battlefield gets smoky, because mm -hmm. the enemy been shooting fiery arrows and dropping bombs and setting traps and snares and you can't see your way. It says the word is a lamp to my feet uh -huh. and a light to my path. Yes, yes, yes. It helps me see my way through yes. the battle. Reminds me of God leading the children of Israel out of bondage and yes. that pillar of fire by night so they could keep walking towards freedom. Yeah. Keep yeah. walking towards yeah. salvation. That's what this word is as our light. It keeps us mm -hmm. walking toward the master. Yes. He's already saved us, saved us, so it keeps us walking toward him until our salvation is complete. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Your salvation isn't complete until he says, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Because mm -hmm. remember, some some of us may right hear, uh, I don't know you, depart. 
That's why it's so important to be mindful yeah. of what's in your vessel. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, right. that's why it's so important to pray mm -hmm. with a repentant heart. Lord God, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Help me not do it again. Well, Show me the error of my face. Let me see me like you see me. Yeah. So I don't get the big hair and think I got it all together because I go to church every Sunday and I show up to Sunday school every Sunday and I read my word every day and I'm doing all these things for you. And help me, Lord. Be that vessel that you created to be used in your service. That vessel that you created brand new. Mm. That red vessel that was marred, and you're constantly fixing my mark. Help me, Lord. Walk in your will. Let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done on earth, mm -hmm. in this earth and vessel, yeah. right. as it is in heaven. Because mm -hmm. you've already ordained it as such in heaven. When you created me, mm -hmm. you had a plan for me. Yes. So as I'm on this battlefield of life, Help me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Yes. So I can fight the good fight. And then what Paul said? Mm -hmm. Fight the good fight. Mm -hmm. I can't be scared. Why? Because the enemy's already defeated. He just don't know it. Mm -hmm. He still thinks he can win. Mm -hmm. But we know differently. Yes. Amen. Amen. The battle is the Lord's. Not ours, he just said little scrimmages here and there. So he has well equipped us as soldiers. We are vessels made over in a way that was good for the master potter to make. Vessels made over with the armor of God already infused into us, empowered and fortified by the fire of his Holy Spirit. Refined by his consuming fire. Not a fire that's going to destroy us, but fortify us and strengthen us. A vessel refined, an armor that he made fit for battle on both fronts. You can do it. I can do it. We can do it. Church. We can do it. Yeah. If there are other churches out there, listen, you can do it. Yeah. You can do it. He wouldn't have asked us if we couldn't do it. But we have to do it together. We can't let the things of the world divide and come. The Lord our God is one. And there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one Christ. Yes. He's strengthening us so we can stand. And as Pastor says, He strengthens us so we can stand, so we can withstand. We can withstand the noise of pestilence and the arrows that fly. That the enemy is shooting at us. We can withstand the stalking of the lion that's roaming about, seeking whom he may devour. We can withstand it because he's equipped us, fortified us, strengthened these vessels of ours so we can keep moving forward in him because he's with us. Isn't that what he said? He's with us. Isn't that what he told Joshua? Don't be afraid or dismiss or be dismayed. Be strong. And courageous because I'm gonna be with you wherever you go. And Joshua wasn't scared of nothing. Him or, him or Caleb. I wish I had a Joshua and a Caleb uh, as friends today. Because I know if I say Caleb, God said this whole block is gonna belong to God. Caleb, okay, let's do what we gotta do. He ain't gonna say, well, you know, they might be locked up in the house, they might be doing this or doing that. Or they may be this, they may be that. <coughs> Better move out of town. Mm -hmm. You're going to say, God said, it's ours. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Just like he told the children of Israel. He said that you won't see giants in the land. You won't see giants on the battlefield on morning star. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Because he already said, wherever your foot will try, it's yours. Yeah. He 
said, I've given you this land to possess it. Go and possess it. I don't care who in it. Go and possess it. Yeah. On the battlefield, didn't he tell them back in Deuteronomy? You won't see enemies all over the place. You're coming from all sides. But I'm fighting for you. Yeah. Go to war. Mm -hmm. He had to prepare them for war, just like he had to prepare us. That's why he took them around the way he took them. Because he didn't want them to go the shortcut way from Egypt to the promised land because he hadn't prepared them for what they were going to encounter. Mm -hmm. He hadn't empowered them yet. It was a three-day journey from Egypt to the promised land. He took them through the wilderness. Now, yeah, they stayed there 40 days, you know, 40 years for disobedience, but that was not the intent. He was taking them that way so he could prepare them mm -hmm. for battle. So he could prepare them to be empowered. So when they got to the promised land and he told Joshua, go in and possess it, they was ready to go in. But many of them lost their way on the battlefield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got distracted. Well, come on. They fell into disobedience. Right. They forgot mm -hmm. who had led them out mm -hmm. and who had already won the battle for them. Mm -hmm. They forgot who was with them. Yes. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Could you imagine being among those million or so people mm -hmm. that were led out of Egypt and you saw God do all the things that you mm -hmm. did and you forgot? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's why he had to write Deuteronomy. This is the book of remember. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. It's what he told them several times. Don't forget. Don't forget to remember. Morning star, believers in Christ mm -hmm. as your Savior, whether you come to Morning Star or not, don't forget who your Savior is. Yeah. Don't forget who your God is. Yeah. Don't forget we serve an omnipotent God. Yes. The L should die. Oh, yeah. God Almighty. Yes. The omniscient one, the God who knows everything. Mm -hmm. Why won't you follow this battle plan? He knows everything. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, man. Fortify us mm. for the battle. Mm. We are on the battlefield yeah. Yeah. for the Lord. Go ahead. Yeah. Fighting a good fight yeah. with faith and assurance that we are not conquered. Mm -hmm. no Christians, you are not a conquered people. I don't care what the world might try to make you think you are. You yeah. be they ain't gonna say nothing. We can do whatever we want to do. You are not a conquered person. God says you are more than a conqueror. You're not just a conqueror. You're more than a conqueror. You already have won. And sometimes quiet confidence is our strength. Why? Because you're pouring out your most powerful weapons every day. Mm -hmm. You don't need to go around bragging about it. Most, let's do it. Yes. Just do it. That's the most powerful thing you can do is just do it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell nobody I'm going over here and love all these people and bless them. Really? Mm -hmm. Just go do what you're going to do. Well, amen. Yes. Amen. You ain't got to tell a lot of gay so so they 20 years ago, but you know what? I forgave them and I'm still forgiving them. Every time I see them, I tell them I forgive them. Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> forgive it, let it go, keep going. Yes. I had so much compassion this week because <laughs> just have compassion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Read your Bible. See how many times Christ did stuff for people. He said, Don't tell us about it. Just that's right. Yes. Okay. Just, just, you know, he tells us to stop talking. Y'all just, just come on, y'all. Just don't say nothing. Just come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just do it. That's the most powerful thing mm -hmm. you can do for God is just to be like you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just to be like you. That's what's going to win the war. That's it. Be like them. The enemy is the one that's boasting and bragging and shooting off at the mouth and and then and throwing out little tickets and, mm -hmm. and writing checks in KK. Mm -hmm. You see it all over the news. You see it every day. Mm -hmm. Everybody got something to say about something. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Just do God. Let's do God. Let's do God. Do God. Yeah. Actions speak louder than words. Or also may not. Especially in this day and age, because there's so many words out there. There's so much to listen to. So many words. But you learn the word. So you can do the word. Because you're teaching others how to be disciples by teaching them to observe, to do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just like God told Joshua, meditate on his word mm -hmm. day and night so you can observe to do. Just like James said, be doer of the word, not just a hearer, mm -hmm. be a doer. If doing it wasn't powerful and impactful, you wouldn't say do it. You just say, just sit down every now and then, read me. Mm -hmm. We'll be good. Do it. Do it. We are fighting the small scrimmages of life. Knowing that the battle is not ours, but the Lord's. We are engaged in a warfare of faith in God over fear of the enemy. You can't fight scared. You're going to fight, fight. If you're going to run, run. Now, there's nothing wrong with running. If you don't feel your weapon, if you don't feel you can weld your weapon, with confidence. That's why he said he's a strong tower that you can run therein and be safe. Mm -hmm. And while you're in that tower, he's going to hide you. And then another pastor says he's going to hide you in the shadow of his wing, set you high above a rock. He's going to hide you in the pavilion. Mm -hmm. Why is he hiding? So he can strengthen you. Then he's going to set you up on a rock for. We can watch everybody else that knew what to do with their weapon. Fight. Mm -hmm. And while we're sitting there, he's saying, like, you see what they did with that word right there? Mm -hmm. They didn't just take out what they wanted. They used exactly what I said. Mm -hmm. They didn't do like the enemy and gave a person a half truth. They told him the truth of the word. Mm -hmm. And he's sitting there and he's saying, that's okay. I know you still ain't comfortable in the word yet, but that's okay. You just sit here. I'm, I'm watching over you. I'm protecting you. I'm shielding you yeah. while you learn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know right now you're in the valley of the shadow of death, but that's okay. You're passing through. You're just going through. Mm -hmm. Don't fear no evil for I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send goodness and mercy to have you back. But I just want you to be comfortable and confident mm -hmm. when you go out there yeah. on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Don't you love God? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, See yes. how he cares for us. He's not going to send us anywhere ill-equipped. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the best equipment possible. Yes. And he's going to give us the skill to use it. Mm -hmm. But time with him, time in his word, time in prayer is what builds up your skill set. Mm -hmm. When you go into the military, you got to do some basic training first. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you learned out there on the street about shooting the gun. Mm -hmm. You ain't learned how to shoot their gun. Mm -hmm. You ain't learned how to drive. You ain't learned how to drive their tank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yes, we'll come on. Yes. When you get ready to go teach, you got to do some student teaching. Mm -hmm. They don't just take you right out of college and throw you up in the classroom. Uh -uh. No. You got to do some student teaching yes. at your own expense yeah. for a whole school year. Not getting paid. <laughs> Learning yeah. some skill sets. My, my, my. So you can know what to apply and what not to apply. So you can learn how to deal with this student over that student. That's what God does with the weapons of our warfare. Okay, Pastor Melissa, you, you, you know, this week, I don't know. You didn't do a whole lot of word reading this week, so you stay back from that word for a minute so you don't get caught up. You didn't do a whole lot of praying this week, so don't be laying hands on nobody trying to pay. Play over. Because I don't want you to be like the seven sons of seven. <laughs> out there trying to cast out demons and lay hands and do stuff and get whipped by the demons. <laughs> Come on over here and, and sit down for a minute and let me minister to you. <laughs> let me fortify you. <laughs> you. You're a little bit tired this week. You don't feel the best this week. You're hungry. Come on off the battlefield. Get nourished. <laughs> 
And then I'm going to send you back out there. A weary warrior is a weak warrior. And the world can weary you. Amen. Can weary us with the things that we encounter. Yeah. That's why it's so important to depart daily. Mm -hmm. Take some time away from your day to spend with God. Withdraw weekly. Abandon annually if you can. Mm -hmm. So you can spend some time with God. Yes. Yesterday was my weekly withdrawal. I was supposed to be waiting on the air conditioning man. He was supposed to come in the morning. He didn't come at 5, what, 4.30, almost 5 o'clock. So that was my weekly withdrawal when I was in the house all day. And I had a list of stuff I wanted to go do. So God said, well, you're here. I said, yes. He said, so what we going to do? Well, I guess we're going to spend some time together, God. Amen. So he's going to strengthen us. We are in a scrimmage, engaged every day in a warfare. Mm -hmm. God's will versus man's will. Mm -hmm. Every day, we're in a scrimmage of obedience versus disobedience. Mm -hmm. Are we not? Yeah. Every day, you see people doing stuff just raggy wrong. Yeah. Everybody raggy wrong, and you're the only one <laughs> trying to do right. Mm -hmm. Don't get discouraged, just do right. Mm -hmm. Every day, we're in the battle of truth versus lies. Wow, you see that everywhere. Everybody lying. Selling half truths. Be truthful. Because when you tell a lie, then you got to remember what you said. So when it come up again, you gotta, what did I say the last time? You got to keep it all lined up. It's just easier to tell the truth. Amen. Truth stands. Amen. Every day, we're in the battle of faith versus fear. There's so much out there in the world that makes people so much. I see it every day. People come in worried and concerned about their life savings that they thought they had enough. When they retire from their job after working 30, 40 years, mm -hmm. and here they are. I need help with my medical. I need help with my food. The place that I live is assisted living, and they take my whole social security check. I thought I had enough. Fearful. Well, they had put faith in the things of the world, but now they're fearful what's going to happen next. Yeah. How long is it going to take them to tell me whether I qualify? Yeah. Yeah. Desperate. We're living in a world where there's always a scrimmage going on where do I sacrifice or do I just go for the game? If I do it this way, I got it. I'm, I'm, I'm ahead of the game. But might not be entirely legal, might not be quite right. Who am I going to hurt if I do it that way? Let me just sacrifice and just go and do it the way it's supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. I might not get that, but I'll get it from God because yeah. I did once a while. We're always in a battle with love over hate. Don't you see it every day? This group hating that group, this culture hating that. This person hating this person. That's why love is so important. Mm -hmm. Because hate will consume mm -hmm. and destroy. Mm -hmm. We're in a scrimmage every day. Forgiveness over judgment. Mm -hmm. I ain't forgiving them because they this. Mm -hmm. I ain't forgiving them because they're that. Well, you have to be forgiven of something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't it what it said? Press down, shake together, running over? That's about forgiveness. That's about not about your money. Mm -hmm. That scripture. He said he's going to give it to you. Forgiveness to you. Press down, shake it together, and running over. Well, I'll give to you if you just forgive. Mm -hmm. I'll forgive you if you forgive like that. Press down, shake it together, and running over. That's mm -hmm. forgiveness. That's not money. Mm -hmm. It's not material. It's a spiritual thing. Even though we're in these little scrimmages, and sometimes we may not win. Some days we don't win. You ever had a day where you thought I could have did better mm -hmm. as a Christian? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had an opportunity yeah. to do that. Yes. I didn't quite make it. Oh, yes. I, oh, I flunked oh, that oh, test. Oh, uh, yes. Can you give it to Can I retake? Because yes. I didn't quite make it through that one. Yes. 
I forgot who was with me. I forgot who empowered me. The world got heavy, and I just, you know, they met Lissa. Mm -hmm. I'm just being real. Yes. Yes. Because yes. life is real. And like Pastor said, we went, I wasn't going on the front on the front pew. I know I was. We went to church every Sunday, but I went on, I wasn't going on the front pew. Right. I had my big mom looking at you crook ways when you did something you weren't supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But even though we may lose those little scrimmages, we still haven't lost the battle. Don't give up and get discouraged because you might have had a week where every day that week you failed on everything. Everything that poured out your vessel was not create, newly created and was not of God. That's why we get new mercies every day. Because he knows we ain't going to always get it right. But I know you can do it. Just keep trying. That's why he gives us new mercy so we can keep trying it so that we don't give up and go AWOL off the battlefield. <laughs> we haven't lost the battle. Why haven't we lost it? Because the battle's not ours anyway. It's the Lord's. We just have to keep fighting. Each physical battle, we have to, that each physical battle that we lose is an opportunity for a spiritual war. What do I mean? Every time you forget to pour something from the fruit of the spirit out of your vessel, it's a spiritual win because now you've got an opportunity to go back and pray. Mm -hmm. Now you've got an opportunity to go back to the word of God and study. Mm -hmm. Now you've got an opportunity to go before the Lord and let him fill you again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make you over again. you got an opportunity to get back up on the wheel and say, God, I know but this is not a mark. It's a crack. Mm -hmm. What I did today, it is a big old crack and a hole. Mm -hmm. The handle that fell off. Oh, can you make me over again? Yes. Amen. But you got to be real with yourself, too. You got to know where you yeah. fail. And I believe yeah. we all know when we fall short. Yes, we, yes, I know we don't need nobody to tell us when we messed up. We mm -hmm. already know. You know Why? Because greater is he that sent you than he that's in the world. And when mm -hmm. he that sent you, that Holy Spirit is going to convict you. Yes. And it's going to say that, you know what? Mm -hmm. You know you wasn't right. That's right. right. You know you wasn't right. Or he's going to give you an accountability department. Sister Danielle talks about accountability. He's going to give you an accountability department that's going to say, you know what? Best of you, um, was right. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Uh, 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 and you know it. <laughs> and you won't be mad about it because that accountability yes. person is telling you mm -hmm. that I'm up. Yes. They ain't judging you this. It's telling me I'm up. Look. Okay. You need to get it together. You, you can, how can I help you? Yes. Who do I need to get? Who do I need to call? What scripture do we need to sit down and try to read? Do we need to YouTube something to look at to help us get over this hurdle? <clears throat> but keeping you on the battlefield, keeping you in that status of a good soldier, mm -hmm. so that you can be honorably discharged at the end of the war. Mm -hmm. That greater is he that sent us is the Holy Spirit. Our physical weapons are the characteristics of the spirit that we pour out every day. Sometimes the spirit will chastise us, convict us, spank us, but only because God loves us so. And he doesn't want us to fail. He wants us to succeed at being like him. This mm -hmm. ain't be him, it's a be like him. Because mm -hmm. yeah. he made us in his image and his likeness. That Holy Spirit brings to our remembrance those things that we fall short in use. Mm -hmm. Brings to our remembrance that we need to learn a little bit more about God. We need to spend a little bit more time with God when they're when the battle has ceased a little bit and you got a little bit of time in the barracks and you can a little bit of time at child time and you can spend a little time with him. That way you can hone your skills so that your weapon can be a little bit more accurate the next time you get ready to use it. Mm -hmm. 
That's what time in the word and time in prayer does. It hones our skills in using our weapons so we can use the right weapon for the right scrimmage. <clears throat> Sometimes when you're helping people, and I learned this when I first got into ministry, and we had a segment of town in Detroit called the Cass Corridor, and it was mostly homeless people, addicts, prostitutes, whatever. That's, that was a hard area to do outreach in because it was dangerous. And, and, and because it just was dangerous, criminals, all kinds of folks hung up down there. But they weren't going to hear you standing there preaching at them. But what would open the door to a conversation was when you went down and you showed some compassion. Mm -hmm. When you went down and you took some food. When you went down and you took some clothes, when you went down and you just sat and talked with somebody and showed them a little compassion and kindness, mm -hmm. that worked. Yes. When you drug half the church down there and all the instruments and the folding chairs and started having church and trying to land, they wasn't hearing that because they had other needs. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, they had. And that's what the Holy Spirit helps mm -hmm. us do. Hone the skill that you need mm -hmm. for the battle that you're in. Mm -hmm. So if you talk to trying to minister to somebody that's hungry, feed them first. Because mm -hmm. yeah. if they're hungry, they ain't hearing you. They ain't hearing you. If you're trying to minister some, to somebody that's uh, 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 embarrassed by how they smell, give them something to go to, to clean up with. Take right. have them in your car. Yeah. Hey, here's some wipes. I mean, this is all I got, but this is what I got. If you want them, you can have them. If they cold and wet, they ain't listening to you. You standing out there in the cold wet with your coat on and no umbrella, and they don't cry. They ain't hearing you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. Thank you. The Holy Spirit, Holy time Spirit. is in mm -hmm. warfare, on the battlefield, yes. in prayer, in the word, showing love <laughs> first before anything else will get in through. Will allow you to make a disciple, will yeah. allow you yeah. to show, teach somebody about Christ. And sometimes that's all people need is one little thing. Because mm -hmm. sometimes their faith is teetering. Mm -hmm. They might go, Don't nobody care about me. Don't nobody love me. Ain't nobody gonna ever be kind to me. Mm -hmm. I don't believe nothing about God because they said people, all these Christian people, are supposed to be this, and ain't nobody that to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we stop and we become what they need. You that one time you show them compassion. That one time you show them some love. That one time you show them some mm -hmm. kindness. That yeah. one time can tilt them from fear to faith. Yeah. Can tilt them from being unsaved to saved. Mm -hmm. Can tilt them from their ears being shut and their hearts being hard to their ear gates open and their hearts being turned to the hearts of flesh yeah. so that they can receive. The spirit that you're pouring out of your vessel. Mm -hmm. If you stick with the spirit mm -hmm. in the vessel, you can't go wrong. Because right. the Holy Spirit is going to lead you and guide you as to which one to use, in which situation, in which scrimmage that you encounter. So pray even harder. Yeah. Read your word a little longer. Add a couple more scriptures to the ones you already read. Mm -hmm. Pray two minutes longer than you already prayed. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to stand your ground. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able, to engage, be able to engage in the battle until it's done. Even in times of peace, the army is always prepared. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. They're always prepared because they never know when they have to go to work. Mm -hmm. So we should always be in a state of preparation because guess what? Mm -hmm. You said it. We all did. We on the battlefield already. Mm -hmm. And we are in war. Good versus evil. Mm -hmm. God versus the enemy. Mm -hmm. And the enemy don't know he's defeated. He doesn't know he, he, he can't win. He still thinks he can pull it out mm -hmm. in the end. But we already know God wins in the end. 
The battle is his. Pastor already said he's going to be standing there holding the horse, waiting on Christ to come riding with the old horse. Mm -hmm. He already, he, he already ready. So that means the rest of us got to get ready because I do believe if God come in and, and, and I ain't right, that's going to leave me. <laughs> he ain't going to try to borrow me. He's going to be like, well, she knew. <laughs> you know, let it get right during the tribulation because I, you know. Exactly right. Because when that time comes, you got to go by yourself. That's the one thing you're going to have to do by yourself. But while we're here, thank you. We can all help each other. And yes. While we're here, we can all do all we can to strengthen and fortify one another. Help that other person develop their skills. Mm -hmm. Help them in the reading of the word. But sometimes you don't even know where to start. Let me teach you. Just open it up and start. Yes. Wherever your eyes land, uh -huh. just start reading. Just start reading. And before you start reading, pray. Holy Spirit, as I read these words of God, yes. help me understand. understand. Help me see how well, I can apply what these two scriptures I just read mm -hmm. to my life. Yeah. So I can live a life that's pleasing to God. So I can live in His will and not my own. Because yeah. how many of us have learned over life that our will sometimes gets us in trouble? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We start doing what we want. Mm -hmm. Don't always come out like we think. <laughs> when we do what we want, it don't always come out like what we want. But when we do God's will, it's perfect. Yeah. His will is perfect and it's not. Yeah. And he's already ordained his will in heaven. That's why he wants us to pray his will be done here on earth. Because he already knows what he wants for us. All of us have chosen. I saw that on the sign up there. All of us have chosen. To accept him and believe by faith. Because that's how he says, by faith through grace. Yes. And gave us a perfect gift of salvation. When he put us on the battlefield for a reason, we're fighting for him. He got the battle. He said, Y'all just handle this. Just handle the scrimmage. I got the battle. Y'all just do the little stuff. Mom, let's do that. Forgive. Mm -hmm. Have some joy. Mm -hmm. Show some kindness. Be good. Mm -hmm. Have some self control. If y'all just do that, mm -hmm. I got the big part. Mm -hmm. I got the big part. I got this guy over here that thought he was better than me, thought he was going to run ahead and her. Mm -hmm. I got him. I already prepared his prison. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what the word of God said? Yes. He's already prepared to make a fire to hold it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Even when he get even when he get parole, it ain't for long. He only gives him parole for a thousand years, and then the rest of eternity, he he locked up. He on lockdown, but he don't know it. He won't accept it. But we've accepted that Christ will. We've accepted that we we align ourselves with the Father, that we'll have eternal life in glory. Yeah. Will be reconciled back to that perfect place. He's going to make a new heaven and a new earth for us. Yes. So you ain't got to worry about pollution and, and going back to Eden and sitting on top of the world. You got to do all that. New heaven, new earth. Mm -hmm. And glorification. Mm -hmm. Glorify us. Mm -hmm. With a good God yes. who loves us, who's going to win the battle. He just wants us to stand firm in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? You're protected on all sides. He's commander in chief. He's on the front line. Goodness and mercy got your back. Mm -hmm. And he's encamped his angels all around you. Mm -hmm. You can't lose. You might get a little dusty, you might get a little dirty, you might get a little bruised. Mm -hmm. But the spirit heals. Restores, renews, and sets you back on the battlefield, fortified and strengthened, giving you your armor already, mm -hmm. full armor, so you can fight the good fight. 
but the but the cause of Christ. So that all can have that opportunity. Yes. So don't get scared out there. I know it's a scary world, but don't you get scared. Mm -hmm. God's got you. Yeah. Say, so be strong and good courage. Mm -hmm. And just like he helped Joshua win that battle when Joshua said, Go to you, but let the sun stand still for the span of the day. I got this. Mm -hmm. We might need that. When you get one of them scriptures, say, God, if you just give me the rest of the day, mm -hmm. just let the sun stand still over this day, mm -hmm. over this fight of faith. I can win. Yeah. And didn't God do it? Yes, he did. First right. time, the Bible says, he listened to the word of a man uh -huh. telling him what to do. Uh -huh. That's a guy. If you just let it, give me one day, I can win this. For you, God, not for me. For you. So when you get stuck in battle, say, God, if you give me mm -hmm. some time, let the sun stand still over this battle for the span of a day. Yeah. I'll win it for you. Mm -hmm. I'll show you I'm for you. And not for the world. Watch me. Say, God, give me another chance to forgive. I'll do it. Give me another chance to love. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Give me another chance to show some self control. I'll do it. Give me another chance to be kind and faithful. I'll do it. Yeah. Give me some time. And while he's giving them time to do it, the rest of us keep on fighting. Mm -hmm. Hang back. Stay in guard around. Stay in guard around. If you know you need some self control, get your prayer partner. I need some self control. I need to stay in guard mm -hmm. while I go through this battle so I can show God I can do this thing. Mm -hmm. I have this in me. Because that's what you do. Mm -hmm. So morning star, stay on the battlefield for the yes. Lord. Stay on it. He promised. And all the thing, everything he's promised us, he's done. And will do. So let's do it for him. We promised him. We're going to stay on it until we die. So when we get dug down here, he will say, welcome to my good and faithful service. Come on up. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Come on up, come on in. The feast of the Lord is gone. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to be at that table? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yes. And Christ serves mm -hmm. communion. Yeah. Oh. Don't you want to be at that table? Oh, yes. When Christ said, Take this bread. This is my body I gave you because mm -hmm. I loved you so. Eat it. Take this fruit of the body. This is my blood I shed for you. This same drink mm -hmm. Now you are part of me and I'm a part of you. Because that's what it says in the scripture. When we do it, we become part of him and he's part of us. Because mm -hmm. we're yes. taking it yes. in. Oh, no. God just did it. That's why we do this on the first Sunday so we can get back up on that battlefield that, fortified. Mm -hmm. Yes. Strengthen. Mm -hmm. Why go to first? Fellow believers, fellow mm -hmm. servants. We all just servants. Mm -hmm. Servants of the living God. Serve him. It ain't about rank. Mm -mm. We all the same rank. We all soldiers. Mm -hmm. He the commander in chief. Serve him with gladness. Is that what he says? Serve him with gladness. Mm -hmm. Come before him with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Because he's a God. And we love him and he loves us. So pray for him. It's like you would. For your own physical family, you're like, you're gonna fight for them. Ain't nobody gonna mess with your people. Mm -mm, no. mm -mm. I promise you, ain't nobody gonna mess with your people. You can sit there all calm and cool if you want to, but somebody come up against your people, you're gonna do something. You're gonna say yeah. something. Mm -hmm. As my grandfather you say, I'm gonna see about you. Yeah. Yes, ain't it? Don't let nobody mess with me when it starts. Mm -hmm. You say, what now? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. This is my camp, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Vamos, vamos, cara, vem. Stay on the health. Pray for one another. Fortify each other. Strengthen one another. Spend some time honing your spiritual weapons of prayer and the word. So that when time, when the time comes, the Holy Spirit can lead you and guide you to use it effectively. So that the enemies of God are vanquished. <clears throat> And you can move on up the field. You can move on up the field. The battle will be over one day. Mm -hmm. The battle will be over one day. We don't know when. We don't know when it's coming. But we know it is. And we know he's already won. Mm -hmm. And he's closer to coming. Mm -hmm. Than not. <laughs> yes, he is. We want to be ready. You want to be those so soldiers standing in formation when he comes to review the troops. So that when that time comes again, we can go into battle with him in the morning. So I want to say I love you. Oh, love you. Oh, yes. 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 Love you so much. We all fighting together. Don't fight against. Help your brother and sister. Stay strong in that. Amen. Help them stay strong in that. Encourage them. Because that's what we're supposed to do. Encourage one another. Mm -hmm. Love on them. Forgive their trespasses. Yes. Because he forgave a lot. He forgave a lot. He was yes. the Lord. Forgive their trespasses. As he forgave a lot. And then pray, help me not. Do it again. Mm -hmm. Help us come together and pray. Is it what we say? We join in unity. We don't want those stitches to fall. We don't want those stitches to fall. Stay prayerful. Stay in your word. As you go forward in this week, keep looking to God. If you feel like you need some help, go to the hills. That's where your help comes from. Mm -hmm. Call my brother and sister, hey, I just need a quick prayer. And mm -hmm. that's how we talk, just pray. Mm -hmm. Pray my strength in the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's it. Text, pray for me, let me pray my strength. Mm -hmm. Pray I can use my weapons in the right time. Love you. God bless you.